In today's video, I ask the question, can you change your body fat set point? What's going on guys? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com coming to you Thursday. It is a gorgeous day in Florida. Got the garage door open. Loving the weather here in Tampa. Let's talk a little bit of, about like what's going on in the world today. So something very cool is happening in Tampa Bay at this time. The uh, ketogenic conference is happening about five minutes from my house. So Lauren Conlon came over yesterday. We rode over together, went to see the keynote presentation, did some mingling, got to hang out with some really cool people, Dr. Dominic Diagostino, who is uh, one of the experts in the area of ketogenic dieting. He was the one that introduced it to me, its benefits on Navy SEAL divers, its benefits on metabolic diseases, things like epilepsy, things like Alzheimer's, there's just, uh, even cancer, they're just showing there's so many benefits to a diet that's based on ketones and it really kind of prevents some inflammation, some, some unique things happening. But I don't want to get too off topic for today's video, so I am going to do a full video on my thoughts on the current state of ketogenic dieting, probably Saturday because there's some presentations I want to watch this week and then I'll formulate my thoughts. Maybe I'll try to get a few people on video. Uh, Chris Bell of bigger, stronger, faster fame is in town and uh, he's a friend of mine and Lauren's and he is actually doing a documentary on ketogenic dieting so that's going to be very interesting. But I digress. Keto conference is in Tampa. It's awesome. So I get to see people like Josh and Victoria and uh, overall just spend time with uh, some, some really cool people that are in the uh, nutrition business. And for those that watch my video on how to train for beginners, I am writing a program that is going to be free and downloadable. I'm just gonna give it away to you guys. Basically an introductory program, just how to train. It's going to be based around the fact that you have access to a gym, so that will be one caveat. But the idea will be an, a program to follow for a period of time that is going to benefit you and hopefully I get some good feedback on that and maybe that will spur on some some other projects it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and I think uh, having the perspective that I've had where I was once a beginner and made a lot of mistakes I would love to give everybody my opinion on a good starting place so look for that soon let's start with today's video topic which is can you change your body fat set point First of all, let's define what your body fat set point is. Body fat set point is basically the theory that our bodies are at homeostasis with a certain range of body fat. If you want to put a number on it, that might be 12 to 15% for men, that might be 18 to 22% for women, whatever statistics you want to use. But we all know that if we live our lives if we're pretty active, if we eat what we normally want to eat, if we can maintain a body composition without too much work, without feeling hungry all the time, having good energy, without feeling tired, that is going to be your body fat set point. Typically, it's, uh, you know, I look back at it as the weight that I was at in my early 20s because I didn't really pay attention to nutrition. I played and ran and trained and played baseball and sports and you know ate and drank and did whatever the hell I wanted and I maintained a physique that was acceptable. It was, you know, I was a tall slender guy so if you want to talk about somatypes, early on I definitely fit into the, uh, the ectomorphic body type at six foot three and you know 180 pounds uh, as a baseball player. I definitely fit that, that somatype of being ectomorphic and so I would say I consider myself someone who kept naturally a leaner physique. It took me years to reach 200 pounds. Um, now that I'm in my early 40s, I'm 41, I find that I can put on body fat and body weight a lot easier than I could back then. Some of that comes down to age, some of that comes down to just lifestyle. I'm not nearly as active as I used to be when I was in college, walking to class, going to practice, all those things. 
So when we're talking about body fat set point, we're just talking about the place where your body is really happy. How can we change our body fat set point? So the, the fat cells in our body basically send signals out and they let your hypothalamus know to either increase hunger if they sense they're dying or they send satiety signals saying you're full if they sense body fat is getting too high. So the hypothalamus kind of acts as a thermostat for your body, kind of keeps your body in check. If the body fat gets too high, it kicks on certain hormones. If your body fat gets too low, it kicks on different hormones. We're all aware when body fat gets too low, what hormones it kicks off. You're hungry all the time, right? So some things start to happen to our physiology. The question is, can we change our body fat set point? And I don't know the answer to this, but I have a theory. And uh, the person I like to look at to discuss this would be Lane Norton, because he's an interesting case study. For those that don't know Lane, or haven't known him for a long time, when I first met him, he used to walk around at about 230 to 235 pounds. He was a beefcake. He was, uh, I often wish he would go back to that beefcake. He looked like a linebacker, you know, traps coming out of his shirt. And, um, and then when Lane got into powerlifting, he started lifting in the 220 pound weight class. And that was a nice fit for him because he, he could stay around 220 pounds and do very well. And he actually would be below 220. He actually got down into the teens for his Wilkes. Well, when the USAPL decided that they were changing weight classes to the 205 or the 93 kilo class, what Lane did was very systematically lost weight over the course of an entire, it might have been an entire year where he went from like the 215 down to the 205 range. And in doing so, while he was doing a ton of training volume, and I'm talking training volume of the gods, he was squatting and deadlifting three to four times a week, benching three to four to five times a week. I mean, there were some crazy cycles in there where I was training with him, where I was just like, he was in the gym for five hours, um, multiple times per week. So seeing that kind of training volume, of course he was doing no cardio, but Lane is, as far as flexible dieting goes, he is someone that is meticulous year round with his macros. The guy even weighs his branch chain amino acids every day. So we're talking about someone who is very accurate with their nutrition. So not typical. But Lane was actually able to kind of change his body composition in a way that he maintains his weight now at around 210 or even lower when his training volume is high without any cardio and with macros that early on in his life were, would have been considered high. Now did he change his body fat set point? I don't know, but I will say this, he changed his body composition and I think that's something that you can do. Over time, you can improve your metabolism. Over time, you can improve your lean body mass. And if you have more body mass and the same, if you have more lean body mass but the same amount of body fat, you're going to have the appearance of having a leaner physique. Now, I myself used to walk around at 235 to 240 pounds. I now walk around at 220 pounds after doing a competition prep last year and deciding that I wanted to stay at a lower body weight. So I have essentially changed my body fat set point. I right now don't have to do a lot of thinking. I don't have to do any cardio. I don't have to do anything to maintain this body composition. If I want to get a little bit leaner, yes. But what's nice is right now I've changed what I feel is my set point, my natural set point, because I'm not shooting up into the 235, 240 range. I'm constantly around this 220 range. And it might just be my mental approach. It might be the fact that I've been training in the gym for 20 years and I put on lean body mass. It might be the fact that I'm much more aware of my nutrition because I've gone through several diet phases where I tracked my macronutrients. So not, I no longer look at food the same way. I'm very aware of what I'm taking in. So in my opinion, can you change your body fat set point? Probably within a very small variable, but I think within a larger variable, you can absolutely change your body composition and thus give the illusion that you have changed your body fat set point. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback or stories below on situations where you have actually been able to and change the way your body looks and feels simply through changing your lifestyle over the course of time. That is something I very much believe in. I don't necessarily believe that someone that has a natural set point can literally maintain their body weight or their body fat at like, you know, a much lower, like closer to stage weight. 
I find you have to get back into that normal hormone range and I feel like your body, your genetics are gonna kind of be predetermined on that. If you're not injecting yourself with hormones and things like that, it's going to kind of remain the same, but you can change the way that looks through body composition, through improving your metabolism and just your experience and your skills in the gym and the kitchen. Hopefully that gets my point across. This was a question from a client and it's, it's kind of something I often dodge because there is no clear answer in my opinion, uh, no research that I know of. I mean, these would have to be research studies done over months, weeks, years, decades to actually find data. Maybe somebody could do a meta-analysis of research on people. Maybe that's out there. Nothing I'm aware of though. So that's my opinion. Your, your body fat set point is going to be pretty close, but you can definitely change your body composition and thus give the illusion that you have changed your body fat set point. That's going to be it for me today, guys. I have a cool podcast interview today with the dynamic duo, Chris and Eric Martinez, uh, flexible dieting gurus who have been around for a long time, also students of the Lane Norton School. I got to meet them in Venice, California. Uh, right before the LA Fit Expo, and uh, they're just some outstanding young gentlemen that are doing great things. So I'm looking forward to the podcast today. So once that's done and edited and live, I'll let you guys know where it is. You can listen to me ramble on some more about topics. I've already seen the questions, and they've got some great questions for me today, so I'm looking forward to it. You guys have an awesome Thursday. Thank you, and uh, let's roll on into the weekend.